Yo, what's good everybody? Hope that you guys are having a super blessed day and welcome back to Sharp Sports. Sharp Sports is easily YouTube's number one destination for everything regarding football. So if you guys love football just as much as I do, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we are, we're dropping videos all the time. On top of that, today is Wednesday, meaning that today there is going to be a highlight live stream. I'm probably going to start it sometime around 4.30 because I want to make sure that my boys on the East Coast, like, because normally I started at 6, so I want to make sure that my boys on the East Coast, they got a little bit of time before they got to go to bed. So be on the lookout around 4.35 o'clock-ish. That's when the highlight live stream will be starting. All right, but now let's get to talk about today's player. So guys, as we all should know by now, if you're a defensive recruit and you want to go to a top tier program, you're probably going to be going to the SEC. And one of the best defensive teams in the SEC are, of course, them Georgia Bulldogs. However, one position that Georgia has been exceptionally good at sending to the pros are those linebackers. Currently, there are eight linebackers from the University of Georgia who are in the NFL right now. So yeah, they know how to develop young linebackers, which is probably the reason why today's player is a hard commit to the University of Georgia. Today, we're going to be taking a look at five-star linebacker at the St. John's High School in Washington, D.C., Mikhail Sherman. Mikhail is a 6'3", 234-pound five-star linebacker who's currently ranked as the best player in D.C., the second best outside linebacker in the country, and the 14th best recruit in the class of 2020. And on top of that, 24-7 Sports has him ranked as the 257th best high school recruit of all time. Yeah, you could say that's kind of impressive. Now, Mikhail is just simply unfair because you see, not only is he 6'3", 234, but he also runs a 4'5", 340 and has a 34 inch vertical. This dude is almost running 4'4", at 234 pounds. Yeah, no, enough of me talking. I gotta see what the future Georgia linebacker is looking like on that field. So with that being said, let's jump straight into Mikhail's highlights. Three, two, one. All right, let's take a look and see what one of the best linebackers in the class of 2020 is looking like on that field. Like, oh. Okay, closing speed. Sit down, little boy. Where you going? And if you guys didn't know, St. John's is... It's either them or DeMatha every year is one of the best teams in D.C. Sit down. I like how quick he is. Like, he just reads everything so... Hold up. Hold up. Sit him down, let's go. Yeah, no, I'm excited to see him at Georgia. Georgia's, they they have shown that they more than know how to send linebackers to the NFL. Get off me. Let's go. Oh, do you see how, do you see how quickly he, he hits that T-step? Here. All right, he's backing up. Boom, explode on it. That's what I'm talking about. And then forcing a fumble, let's get it. I, just great open field tackler, too. Keep him in front of him, keep contained. Get wrapped up. Where are you going, little boy? There you go, way to keep, way to hold the edge. This, this just shows you how strong he is. You see how this line, this outside, uh, this outside tackle, he's trying to, he's trying to wall him off. Like you see, he has his back you, as a lineman. You're always taught to like, keep your back to the running back so that they can kind of run off of you. So he's doing his job, but look, he just fights off of it, gets over top of him, boom. Can, keeps the outside contained and goes and makes the play. That's money right there. I like that even though he's super aggressive, he still plays under control. Oh, nice way to readjust. Nope, <laughs> you better catch it the first time, son. You can't be, you can't be juggling the ball. There you go. Ooh. Great open field. Like he, he makes some great open field tackles. I feel like he's just going to be a tackling machine, like kind of like a Roquan Smith. Maybe not. Actually, he might be a better version of Roquan Smith because he's about as fast as him and he's bigger than him. So if they're able to use him like a bigger Roquan Smith at Georgia, pff, it's over. Because I can see this guy easily getting 90 plus tackles a season. If, if he starts day one, I could easily see him just getting 90 plus tackles a year. He's just one of those guys that just always has their, their head in the play. There you go. 
I like how when he engages in these blocks too, he like he's holding the guy there. He ain't moving nowhere. Fearless when coming down to attack the ball, you like to see it. There you go. Not, wait to readjust. Go hunt him down. Go hunt him down. We did not give up on the play. Let's go. Get off me, little boy. You know, I, I like I like how he's always staying on, on on his on his toes. He's like always able to like, okay, I gotta go left, right, wherever I gotta go. Like he, he's always just very active, ready to make a play at any given time. Going up against De La Salle, okay. There you go. You're getting driven back a little bit, but I like how you still kept outside contained. And then these are these are sophomore year highlights. <laughs> just blow that whole play up. Get off me, little boy. Looking like a wide receiver at that defensive end. Oh, pff, where you going, quarterback? I had no chance. Let's go. Yeah, he's just eating these plays up in the backfield. I just like how rangy of a player he is. He can go uh, with his speed, be able to get into the backfield with a quickness. He's uh, definitely above average in strength, so he's able to really hold off those outside, uh, those uh, offensive tackles and able to like, okay, just secure the edge. And then on top of that, he can, I want, I want to see him cover in the passing game though. I want to see if he has some type of pass coverage. There you go. I, I, I like how he, he just always seems to be around the play. Like, even if he's on the complete other side of the field, he's going to find a way. He's going to weave his way through the offensive line. He's going to weave his way through the play to go and make the tackle. And he never gives up on the play too. Like he's always running down these guys. It, he, he makes great open field tackles too. I know, I know a lot of these plays are not like easy to see, but like he's the only guy, if he doesn't make that tackle, then that play is going for an extra five, six, seven yards each time. Nope, <laughs> let's go. There you go, stay on him. Nope, where are you going? We already there, let's go. So he does got some pass coverage in him, I see it. Way to just read that. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Look at how he just he just reads it's like, oh okay, I, I've, I've been watching my film. I know I know this play. He sees a jet sweep coming and then just immediately crashes down on top of it and goes and makes a play. That's what I'm talking about. Well, all right, Mikhail, I see you out there. You know, like I said earlier in the video, I see him as like a bigger Roquan Smith. I mean, Roquan Smith, the reason that he was so just dominant was because of how fast he was and he was able to make a play from box to box. Mikhail can kind of do that too. I mean, the fact that he runs 4-5, I would like to see him as far as like lateral quickness because I think he also runs a 4-5 shuttle. So if he's able to get that to more like a 4-2, 4-3 and is able to really like stay in front of those more shifty running backs and receivers, right, it's over. I mean, his speed alone and his size, I mean, 6'3", 235, running a 4-5, like low 4-5s too. Like he is going to be an absolute monster at Georgia. But yeah, now what'd you guys think of my man Mikhail? Be sure to comment it down below. All right, you guys, and with that being said, hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave this video a like. Yo, let's get the video to 700 likes, because that lets me know that you guys enjoyed this video. Also, don't forget to comment down below any other players that you guys want me to see, because that's how I know you guys want me to watch so we can help grow this channel. And also.
Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications so you guys can stay on top of all the videos that I am coming out with. Hey, yeah. All right, you guys, with all that being said, hope that you guys all have a super, super blessed rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.